Gracias. Thank you. Um, my name is Kathleen, and I'm going to make a little speech right now called For Syria. The image portrayed on the t-shirt is my metaphor for the current for the current Syrian crisis. I took the photo in 1982 in Paris, never dreaming that I would one day use it as a cry for help for Syria in 2016. The cardboard belly dancer with her right hand broken off speaks to me about an open wound and irreplaceable loss. Originally, the dancing figure mirrored my own wounds. Now I carry her message further to encompass Syria, its culture, and its people. As an Arab American whose great-grandfather was Syrian, I cannot stand by idly and watch while the rich culture which contributed to my life is brutally, brutally obliterated. As a Middle Eastern dancer whose basis for my art was the emotional expression of the music played by my grandmother, I cannot be passive as Aleppo is blown to ashes. My dance tonight began with despair and ended with strength and hope. The missing right hand traditionally symbolizes the ability to give. The receiving side is the intact left hand. During the last five years of a raging civil war, Syria is unable to give. It is up to us to ensure its ability to receive, renew itself, and become whole again. Thank you. Um, first, I'd like to start by thanking Chloe Grove, an amazing visual artist who is a fantastic craftswoman and printed, this is my image, each one by hand, it's a silk screen, and I really want to thank her for her collaboration with me. Bravo. I also want to thank Georg Lolta, an old friend of mine who without his Belief in me, I wouldn't have been able to do this project. Thank you very much. I want, where is Zahir? Zahir, um, I had the for, fortunate enough, I was fortunate enough to meet Zahir, who has been living in Berlin a year and a half from Syria. He's a um, classical violinist. And I'm fortunate enough to meet him through fate because he lives with my gay husband, Tio, <laughs> in Oikon. And, and that's how, that, but he, not yes, that he's husband. not gay. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Tio has a, he has a, a, a bone to my shop, so I'm Anyway, but I want to thank Sanyo very much for his support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming here, for doing this event, uh, arranging it, and uh, being conscious about all these problems in Syria uh, that are happening now in front of our eyes for the last five years. This cafe has been a thoroughfare for, for different people, uh, Russian people, Syrian people come here, refugees come here. But I also would like to uh, say that there are different opposing and conflicting opinions about these conflicts. Some people say it's a civil war, some people say it's an interventionist war, uh, it's a war of aggression against the people of Syria. I have friends in Damascus who 
call me sometimes and tell me that they very much hope that their president is protecting them. Other people say their president is killing them. Uh, I'm tending to believe my, my friends because uh, I don't have many friends from the other side. But uh, I very much hope that we find a solution for this conflict, that the people uh, have the chance to live in this country that was once uh, a place where many different religions and minorities were at home and were living kind of in a peaceful way together until this conflict started. And uh, I hope very much for peace and for reconciliation and for clarity of these problems. And I think uh, that you did uh, a very good part for showing sympathy for the people of Syria, which I also do very much. But please look into the conflict, into the different opinions about that conflict. And I'm uh, also at the moment, I'm supporting a petition that is called Hands of Syria, Hände weg von Syrien. And uh, a lot of people support that declaration that's coming from the U.S. Peace Council in the United States, has been signed by hundreds of different, or different organizations and personalities, and is calling for foreign powers to get out of Syria. And I think the U.S. unfortunately has played a very major part in this conflict uh, by escalating it, by bringing in foreign fighters to fight in this conflict, because also in eastern Aleppo, which is like one of the main grounds of conflict right now, you have a lot of foreigners fighting there who have been hired, who have been called mercenaries by many people. And uh, I think we need to come clear and my feeling sometimes is that in the, in the art community there's a huge confusion about these questions. When the majority of the, the art community is tending to support the so-called uh, Syrian opposition that was non-violent at the very beginning but has turned very extreme and has been dominated during the last years by, by very violent forces. And I beg you all to look into these problems and not uh, find out years later that we have been standing on the wrong side of history. And about the election, also like there's a big discussion about US elections now. Uh, I think Hillary... Oh. Later, please later, I will not be able to ask you. So thank you very much.